What's up, nerds and nerdettes, and we little nerdlings all? <laughs> it's your buddy, Big Johnny G for two. Gun Pixie presents Legendary Gaming. Shut up and sit down. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining me here to hear what I have to say about this game, Tranquility. Yes, it's true. This is a game that uh, that is designed and meant to be played in a tranquil setting. And one of the ways that it achieves this is by silence, or as near silence as, as possible. Now, this, uh, this was a little bit of a problem getting the game to screen originally for me. I had a couple of playthroughs. Um, before I actually got it on camera, yeah, because I knew it was going to feel weird, you know, I knew it was going to feel weird playing a game with no communication. And uh, you know, when 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 you're on uh, when you're on screen, then silence is deadly usually to ratings. Even though this isn't about ratings, this show or anything, it's it's still the mentality, you know. You still want to still want to be professional, right? But yeah, this is a game that will be played in a nice, quiet setting. Kind of game that you can play in a library. <laughs> the, the game is basic and simple. Not in an insulting way, please. No, to learn. Not to strategize. Not to plan out your victory. But in order to learn how to play this game, and something else that I've enjoyed about it, it is easy to learn and to teach. is a is a basic system game where you're building up numbers in a uh, well numerical way. <laughs> I mean, on on each turn, it's very simple. You either you either play a card or you discard two and refill on your turn. That, those are the only two decisions that you have to make, and and. You pretty much know what your next decision is going to be after you've made one decision. So that also helps this game to flow very quickly and in an organic way. It doesn't it doesn't feel rushed. Not at all. Not the games that I've played so far anyway. Well that that would defeat the concept of this trying to be a a tranquil game, now wouldn't it? Now it takes up it does take up a bigger footprint than I had even originally thought with the six by six uh, square grid pattern that you're building. Uh, actually, it's kind of like seven by seven because there's, there's there's no corner piece. It's it's offset in a way that there could be a card there, but there isn't. It's left empty and blank. Uh, so yeah, it, it does. Uh, in fact, the very first time I tried to do a playthrough, I hadn't realized that, and that kind of ruined my. My attempt to film that playthrough of it was uh, taking up a lot more space than I had accommodated for. But that does not take away from the game. Please, don't think anything I just said there, which sounds a little negative, takes away from the game. Uh, it, it shouldn't. That's just a simple warning to let you know to have enough space on the table to set this game up so you can get it played. Now, visually, I find this game to be just as tranquil as the as this silent mood setting of the game. Uh, inside this grid pattern that you've laid down, you're you're just laying down islands, man. You know, in a numerical way is the way you want to do it, ideally, uh, in order to complete the game and, and win. But yeah, you're you're just taking a a casual, tranquil, easy float from one little beautiful island to the next. And the cards the components for the game, which is all exactly that, it's just cards, they do look very nice. They're beautiful, actually, and, uh, and they do fit the name of the game perfectly. The cards do have a very, 
very sweet, low-key, tranquil sensation to them. And you're placing out these islands, trying to get home for the night. Now, because of the kind of strategy game that this is, with the placement of the islands, trying to get back home, I feel that this really does give the game a very high replayability uh, factor to it. Which, of course, is something you always want in a game. You don't want to spend money and then just play a game once or twice. So it's, it's not worth it at all. But yeah, this this game is, is a, a, a sensation of a game that, that will change each and every time. The experience of your adventure on this beautifully tranquil sea will be different from time to time, from game to game, from experience to experience. Whether you're playing it solo or whether you're playing it competitively against uh, other player or players, you're going to have different experiences every single time. That is 100% replayability by the book, isn't it? I think the design of this game, both the mechanics of how it plays out, the simplicity of it, while adding a level of strategy well beyond the simplicity of the actual mechanics of the gameplay, I think this is a gateway game. I think this is the kind of game that you can sit down and you can get someone to play and have a surprisingly enjoyable experience, something that they are not expecting. Uh, Non-board gamers, you know, may think of everything as Monopoly or Catan, uh, but this is going to be an experience that they are not that they are not uh, ready for, and it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna open up the gateway, I think, for them a bit. I, I also think this is gonna be a great game for families. It plays for any age. It plays for any level of playability that a player is going to have. Altogether, I, I think this really comes together to make a great package of a game. But don't don't listen to me. These are just my opinions. This is just how I personally feel uh, about the, this particular game title. You can listen to as many reviewers as you want, but I think the most honest way you're going to get to know whether you and your friends are going to like a game is going to come down to watching some playthroughs. Then you'll, you'll know. You'll know whether you think the game is, is a level of exciting and cool enough that you're going to want to play. So uh, go get some more information and then watch some playthroughs. And let me know what you think of Tranquility.